Hello from Phoenix, Arizona International Airport. Uh, today we're going to talk to you about traveling, traveling home for the holidays, and specifically traveling home with your pet. <laughs> There's a little face. Oh, there it is. really neat about this airport, and I'm sure a few other ones have it too, but they have a pet relief area. It's basically like a bathroom for your pet. <laughs> Fire hydrant, grass, and a sink. Or peanuts. Something really cool is, once they go to the bathroom, you can flush. Yeah, so these are often pretty hard to find in airports, and not a lot of them have it. So when you're at your check-in, usually the gate attendant, right when you're checking in, has kind of an idea of where stuff is. Um, we were able to check, and they told us kind of what you can find. But you can let your pet out, you can lock the door, you kind of have your own space, uh, at least in this one. And then there's a grassy area where they can do their business. Kind of cool. Not all airlines and airplanes have the same requirements for your pet carrier. So make sure to check with your airlines for whatever size requirement of pet carrier you get. For Delta, we were able to find a pet carrier that was the perfect size, a bit small, but the cool thing about the carrier that we found was it has a kind of side that you can unzip that expands a little bit. So at least while we're waiting in the areas, he has a little bit more room to move around. Not all pets travel the same. Um, Saki actually gets a little stressed out in those carriers. So we actually vis visited a vet in... Um, we're basically in the Phoenix area and uh, got a new customer discount, which was nice. We didn't even have to pay a fee, but essentially they prescribed some sedatives for him that just calm him down a little bit. They don't put him to sleep. Sure. Then we give him a quarter pill. Um, we'll put in the description what exactly they prescribed to us, but definitely a good idea to check with your vet if you're worried about your pet being a little stressed. Different airlines require different types of documentation for your pet. Uh, for example, if you're traveling internationally, you should definitely bring a health certificate and rabies vaccinations. Now, I brought both, but they weren't required for when we came to fly. Getting on the plane now. So we've been in the air for about two and two hours, we're about halfway through, and Saki's doing really good. Out cold. So happy cat. You made it! Smell all those dogs. Oh, <laughs> this is for a big airport. Oh man, I'm never gonna get the baggage claim. <laughs> Welcome to JFK. <laughs> You want to get a spa? Which sounds really nice right now. Massage. Where am I? Am I in a mall? What's happening? It's just an airport. <laughs> Getting close. It's baggage claim. It's been at least the time in a walk. I think there we're our bags will there. be there by then. I know, right? The bags probably move faster than people. <laughs> out of commission my 
Twilight Liner's not in. I'm like struggling. It's been a while since you've uh, put one of those on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> feel very large. Okay. I think I got it. <laughs> Let's go. Saki keeps his winter coat on all the time. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry we didn't finish the video last night. We had family stuff going on and uh, just needed to, to get some rest. But but made it back safely. Yep. Here we are. This is Bailey, <laughs> our 90 pound golden retriever. He's going to go do some parents. exploring now. <laughs> Saki likes the dog, but not that close. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so recapping, that was, uh, obviously you saw we, we were pretty successful. I think that went really well. Yeah, really, I think it went the best it probably could have gone. Yeah, the uh, the medication from the vet was, was excellent. It didn't make him fall asleep. He was just calm, mm -hmm. and, you know, he wasn't shaking or having any problems, so I highly yeah. recommend go check with your vet. Yes, um, definitely check with your vet yeah. before you take your pet on any type of travel, just for any health conditions or just to, you know make sure that they're comfortable with your pet traveling with you. Yep, and check our full article. We'll put the name of the medication we received. Obviously, trust your vet, but that worked well for us. You and wanted to, we had one other thing about, um, maybe we just couldn't, one thing yeah, we couldn't we film do. going through security. So, right. um, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just recommend, um, we put a harness on him, uh, with a, a leash that goes with it, but I kept the harness on the entire time we were traveling just because it made it easier. You have to take your pet out of its crate and walk with your pet through security, and it just made it so much easier to hold on to our cat because he had the harness on. Yeah, basically that carrier has to go through the x-ray, so mm -hmm. you have to carry your, your pet through the human uh, x-ray. Right. So, <laughs> not the body scanner, you go through like a different lane usually with the pet, but mm -hmm. Um, if we didn't have a leash, that might have been a little rough. Right. Because there's other animals and people are freaking out and there's so much stuff going on, so... So the harness just made it easier for me to hold on to him and make sure he didn't get away from me as we were walking through security. So, uh, definitely a recommendation for anyone yeah. who's bringing a cat around. The last thing is, I mean, we said it before, but I think checking your bags. I usually never check bags because I just don't want to wait for them, but not having to carry all those bags and being able to focus on the animal was... Mm -hmm was a huge plus. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any suggestions or comments, I'm sure many of you have done this more than we have. Uh, please write in the comments section. If you have any questions, please ask them. We're here to help. Yes. And thanks for watching guys. Thanks guys.